I had a request come in to go a bit deeper into the mystical and occult traditions. And so, you know, definitely, man, no problem. But this part of the book, it really isn't that long. It's uh, five, barely five pages. So we covered a decent chunk of it, but there's certainly some things in here that I thought I could go over to flesh out a bit more. The first being um, is the planes of existence and the vehicles of consciousness table. So this is like the physical, the astral, the mental, the booty, the Atman, the Anubhadaka, and the Adi. So we'll go through that. So first of all is the physical. This is the world of matter as well as invisible forms of etheric matter. The vehicle here is the etheric body. Then we have the astral. The characteristics there are the world of emotions and desires manifested as real objects, events, and creatures, which is the vehicle there is the astral body. Then we have the mental. Uh, the characteristics are the world of thoughts and ideas manifested as thought forms. That's the mental body. Then we have the booty. This is the world of intuition, inspiration, creativity, and wisdom, the Buddhic body. Then we have the Atman, the world of spirituality, heaven, bliss, and nirvana, the highest human aspect of God within us, the Atmic body. And then we have the Anupadaka, the world of the soul, true self, or higher self. Um, this is the Anupadaka body. And then finally we have the Adi, which is the source, the divine God, ultimate reality, the Adi body. And yeah, I don't, I don't really know what all that means.